I, of course, before applying for it, I looked at the courses at the, let's say, academic offer for the subject I wanted to continue to pursue the master in, and I have to say that I was pretty impressed by the curriculum and the possibility that they were offering. <laughs> Tosi monille ehkä taloustiede kuulostaa vaan sitä, että tutkitaan jotain, miten raha pyörii, mutta eihän se sitä ole vaan. Tutkitaan yhteiskunnallisia ilmiöitä empiirisin menetelmin. Uh, here it is very easy to take courses from statistics and mathematics to departments and kind of compare and deepen your knowledge on the economic issues. As we all know that economics today as a science is very mathematically oriented. And that's why it is actually a very good thing that you can study those other subjects as well. Well, I think the Finland is a good example of uh, it's an interesting economy right now and I think uh, how is it going to evolve after the big uh, crisis of 2008 and 2009 and uh, what's going to happen after uh, what's happening uh, is a result after the Nokia collapse or at least the Nokia reduction, the scale of production. So I think that's one of the most interesting topics what's going to happen to the productivity levels in Finland and to the overall Finnish economy. That has just got a very large shock that's uh, not very common to see in the world economy, something similar. Well, I think after the financial crisis, the, uh, there is a lot still to be learned in, in how the economy is working. And I think there is like whole variety of things that you can you can go and explore. Also, like here in Finland and especially in Scandinavian countries, the access to all kinds of data is and and then what kind of data you have is much better than than almost anywhere else in the world. So so if you like to do data analysis, I think Helsinki and the Scandinavian countries are a really good place to be. No, aika iso ero Venäjällä opiskelu oli se, että siellä se on tosi koulumaista vielä, että, että, että opiskelijoita tähän silleen holhotaan, että sulle annetaan lukujärjestys ja jos sä et luennolle, niin sitten soo soo ja näin, mutta että täällä ehkä semmoinen akateeminen vapaus tietyllä tavalla antaa sitten lisää vastuuta opiskelijalle niissä omissa valinnoissa, että musta tuntuu, että Tietysti sillä voi olla varjopuolensa sit sillä niinku opintojen venymisellä, mutta sitten sen huomaan myös siitä, että musta ehkä niinku opiskelijat on aika kypsiä myös sit siinä vaiheessa, kun ne valmistuu, koska ne on tavallaan, se on ollut itse johdettu projekti se valmistuminen, eikä se, että, että joku opettaja on sua niinku, tönnynyt koko ajan.